What could a designer, nanotechnology experts, and microchip production specialists make together? Something like this unusual dress. It can read the brain waves of the wearer, analyze them, and change the appearance based on the received data. The name of this incredible garment is the pangolin, as the scales of this mammal resemble the scales of the dress. By the way, they are 3D printed, and the world's first 1024-channel brain-computer interface is responsible for the data transfer. The more brain activity, the more the scales move, and if the person feels calm, the dress will glow in a calmer pattern. They've already come up with a new feature in the comments section. In case of danger, the scales should turn into spikes. You think monowheels only can move slowly but surely? Not in the slightest. British inventor Kevin Scott successfully entered the Guinness Book of World Records with one. He reached 61.183 miles per hour. How about that? Scott and his assistant spent two years on this incredible vehicle. Moreover, they worked for 12 months just to make sure the monowheel met all the requirements needed to set the record. Let's run through the features. This masterpiece got a 12 cubic inch cart engine, a specially made transmission, and an air suspension. It's about 5 feet in diameter and weighs 187 pounds, and the name is fitting too Warhorse. Even after the tester tried to stop the monowheel, it kept breaking the world speed record for another four and a half minutes, users joked. Saving energy is a problem in many countries. The Spanish authorities decided to turn off the lighting of buildings and stores after 10 p.m., and the French government has asked its citizens to spend less electricity. Engineers from the US are here to help. They've invented photovoltaic cells that can turn almost any surface into a solar panel. The idea is reminiscent of t-shirt prints. American experts took a 3 micron thick substrate, much thinner than a human hair, and applied an electrode using screen printing. This was then glued onto a composite fabric, and the resulting photocell has a total power of 370 watts per 2.2 pounds, and is 100 times lighter than regular solar panels. People in the comments immediately found an application. The product will be really useful built into the screens of laptops, tablets, and smartphones. Do you have any other ideas? The creators of this drone need only two words to describe it – epic scale. They decided to combine the payload capacity of large drones and the maneuverability of smaller ones resulting in a kind of flying F1 race car. The drone is powered by a 220 horsepower propulsion system, thanks to which it reaches 87 miles per hour. And there is a very simple reason for the impressive size. The team has made racing drones before, but only small ones. It was difficult to keep track of the little ones at high speeds, so the engineers gradually increased the scale and eventually ended up with this. The team got one step closer to its vision to create a brand new future racing experience, the description states. We wonder how else they'll upgrade it in the future. Our selection continues with a is an interesting solution for lighting, both in private and commercial properties. These systems, like sunflowers, always face the sun and transmit light via fiber optics. The standard version consists of 36 lenses, a microprocessor, photosensors, and motors with about 10 watts of power. One digital sunflower can collect about 6,000 lumens. When working with a 33-foot cable, taking into account all the losses, the luminous output will be about 3,700 lumens. This is enough to light 323 to 430 square feet. Infrared and UV radiation will be removed by the built-in filter, and you can imagine how beneficial it can be. 
Experts have calculated that about 20% of the world's electricity is used just for artificial lighting, sometimes during the day too. How much trash do we throw away every day? On average, 26 ounces per person. Of course, this varies a lot from country to country, and in some places it's more than 10 pounds per person. New developments in garbage collection and removal help us to not drown in waste, while making the work of garbage truck drivers easier and more pleasant. On the screens is a combination of special containers and a robotic boom. A full work cycle is 65 seconds, and only one person is needed to control the process. The system is suitable for above-ground and underground containers up to 176 cubic feet, and the boom can be mounted even on a compact two-axle vehicle. And once the system's integrated, garbage removal costs can drop by up to six times. Have you ever seen the inside of a granary? It's pretty dangerous in there. In the US alone, about 7% of farmers suffer from lung disease due to inhaled fine particles. In addition, voids can form in the grain mass, and it's very difficult to get a person out of it, because there's a lot of resistance and no ejection force. An American company offers this robot for safe and efficient work with the grain. It mixes and moves grain with the help of augers. So far, it works alone, but its creators are already working on integration with other machines. The robot weighs about 26 pounds, has enough charging power for two hours, and is controlled remotely. According to preliminary reports, the price will be about $5,000. Next in line is a new development in robotics. Engineers have figured out how to give robots fingers with a high-precision sense of touch. These fingers can be used anywhere, from manufacturing facilities to hospitals. So, how does this American development work? Under the skin of the robotic finger, there is a layer of transparent silicon with LEDs and photodiodes, which determine how the light is reflected. If the finger touches something, the skin deforms and the light is reflected differently. By evaluating the updated data, the system feels a variety of touches. In the past, this would have been considered too complicated to analyze, but now there is advanced machine learning, so researchers are able to guess a lot of details, from the force applied when touching to what exactly the robot is touching. Sad statistics from the UN. In 2021, the number of undernourished people grew by 40 million. So, various upgrades for agriculture are needed more than ever, and one of them is on your screen. The first step towards replacing traditional irrigation, the manufacturers write. Now, all you have to do is run a flexible hose and then make holes in the right areas with these inserts. The water consumption is about 1.8 to 2.1 gallons. The hose is made of polyethylene and is 328 feet long. Overall, this method of irrigation is simple, economical, and suitable for all crops, the video description notes. No less interesting is this development from Singapore. On the screens is not a piece of contemporary art, but the prototype of a flexible paper-based battery. It's only 0.02 inches thick, and it's biodegradable. After a month in the soil, it breaks down completely. The efficiency is amazing. The 1.6 by 1.6 inch prototype is capable of powering a compact fan for about 45 minutes. The battery is bendable, foldable, and can be cut into pieces if necessary. And all materials used are non-toxic, so it doesn't need special casing. There are a lot of applications, from gadgets to smart clothes and medicine, and the team plans to create special electronic components powered by these batteries.
the most absurd working transport. People write about this engineering masterpiece on many websites. The idea is simple. A propeller, a bicycle chain, two blades and three wheels. The tailwind pushes the vehicle forward and the wheels rotate and help spin the propeller. The idea and its implementation are so curious that many internet users thought it was fake and physically impossible. Moreover, a YouTuber even got into a $10,000 bet. The question was, can a windmill move downwind faster than the wind? As it turned out, it can. So the loser, a physicist, had to write him a check. In addition, in 2012, a record was set. This vehicle moved 2.8 times faster than the then-recorded wind speed.